Imagine waking up tomorrow to find an extra $1,485 in your bank account. Not just once, but every single month. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, for millions of Canadian seniors, this dream might be about to become a reality. Stay tuned as we unpack the shocking announcement that's set to revolutionize retirement in Canada and learn how you can make sure you don't miss out on this game-changing opportunity. Hey there, fellow Canadians. This is Daniel, and you're watching Canada Benefits Hub, your ultimate destination for all things related to Canadian benefits and financial support programs. Today, we're diving deep into a story that's sending shockwaves through the nation. It's a development that could change the lives of seniors across our great country. And trust me, you won't want to miss a single detail. So whether you're a senior yourself, caring for an elderly loved one, or just want to stay ahead of the curve on Canadian social programs, this video is tailor-made for you. Grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and let's unravel this groundbreaking news together. The announcement. In a move that has caught both political pundits and the public off guard, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has just unveiled a revolutionary initiative aimed at providing substantial financial support to Canadian seniors. This new program, approved with unprecedented speed, in just 24 hours, promises to deliver a monthly boost of $1,485 to eligible seniors through the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA. The scale and rapidity of this decision have left many Canadians stunned, sparking intense discussions about its implications and implementation. Let's take a moment to appreciate the magnitude of this announcement. A monthly increase of $1,485 is not just a minor adjustment. It's a transformative amount that could significantly alter the financial landscape for millions of Canadian seniors. To put this into perspective, over a year, this boost amounts to an additional $17,820, a sum that could cover a substantial portion of annual living expenses for many retirees. The speed of approval for this program is equally astounding. Government policies, especially those involving significant financial commitments, typically undergo months, if not years, of deliberation consultation, and refinement. The fact that this program received the green light in just 24 hours speaks volumes about the urgency the Trudeau administration is placing on addressing the financial challenges faced by Canadian seniors. The context, to fully appreciate the significance of this move, we need to understand the context in which it's occurring. Canada, like many developed nations, is grappling with an aging population. According to Statistics Canada, seniors are the fastest growing age group in the country. By 2030, it's projected that nearly one in four Canadians will be 65 or older. This demographic shift brings with it a host of challenges. Many seniors are finding their retirement savings stretched thin by increasing life expectancies and rising costs of living. The COVID-19 pandemic has further exacerbated these issues, highlighting the vulnerabilities of our elderly population in terms of both health and economic security. Recent economic data has painted a concerning picture. Inflation rates have been climbing, with the cost of essentials like groceries, housing, and utilities seeing significant increases. For seniors living on fixed incomes, these rising costs can be particularly challenging to navigate. Moreover, the landscape of retirement in Canada has been changing. The days of reliance solely on company pensions are largely behind us, with many Canadians now responsible for funding a significant portion of their retirement through personal savings and investments. While programs like the Canada Pension Plan, CPP, Old Age Security, OAS, and the Guaranteed Income Supplement, GS, provide important support, there's been growing concern that these might not be sufficient to ensure a comfortable retirement for all Canadians. It's against this backdrop that the Trudeau government has made its bold move. The $1,485 monthly boost appears to be a direct response to these mounting pressures aiming to provide a financial cushion that could make a real difference in the lives of Canadian seniors. Breaking down the numbers. Now let's dig into the specifics of this $1,485 monthly boost. At first glance, this might seem like an arbitrary number, but there's likely more to it than meets the eye. First, consider the annual amount, $17,820. This figure is significant because it's close to the low income cutoff. All I see so. For many Canadian cities, the LIHO is often used as a measure of poverty in Canada by providing a boost that brings many seniors close to or above this threshold. The government appears to be making a concerted effort to lift seniors out of poverty. Moreover, $1,485 a month could cover a significant portion of essential expenses for many seniors. Let's break it down. 
Housing. In many parts of Canada, this could cover rent for a modest apartment or significantly offset mortgage payments. Food. According to recent data, the average Canadian household spends about $200-$250 per person on food each month. This boost could easily cover these costs and then some. Healthcare. While many healthcare costs are covered by provincial plans, this extra money could help with additional expenses like dental care, vision care, or prescription medications not covered by public plans. Transportation. Whether it's maintaining a car or cranking for public transit, this boost could ensure seniors remain mobile and independent. Utilities and communication. Costs for heating, electricity, phone, and internet could be comfortably covered. The comprehensiveness of this boost suggests that the government has done its homework, aiming to provide an amount that can make a tangible difference across various aspects of seniors' lives. Eligibility and implementation. While the full details of eligibility are still being ironed out, initial reports suggest that this boost will be available to Canadian seniors age 65 and above. However, it's likely that income criteria will play a role in determining the exact amount each senior receives. The government is expected to use a sliding scale to ensure that those most in need receive the full amount, while also providing some level of support to middle-income seniors. This approach aligns with the progressive nature of many Canadian social programs, aiming to provide the most support to those who need it most while still offering some benefit to a broader range of seniors. Pursuing Interests Retirement should be a time to enjoy life and pursue interests. This boost could allow seniors to take up new hobbies, travel, or engage in lifelong learning. Emergency Fund The extra money could help build an emergency fund, providing peace of mind for unexpected expenses. Moreover, this boost could have ripple effects beyond individual seniors. With more disposable income, seniors may increase their spending, potentially boosting local economies. There might be increased demand for services catering to seniors, creating job opportunities in various sectors. Reactions and Controversies As with any major policy announcement, this program has sparked a wide range of reactions across the political spectrum and among the general public. Initial public reaction has been largely positive, with many seniors and their families expressing relief and gratitude. Social media has been flooded with stories of how this extra income could change lives, from being able to afford necessary medical treatments to simply enjoying a better quality of life. However, the program is not without its critics. Some concerns that have been raised include Fiscal responsibility. Critics argue that such a generous program could strain the federal budget, potentially leading to increased deficits or necessitating tax increases. Inflationary pressures. There are concerns that injecting this much money into the economy could contribute to inflation, potentially eroding the very benefits it aims to provide. Intergenerational equity. Some worry that focusing so much support on seniors might come at the expense of other age groups facing their own financial challenges. Work disincentives. There are questions about whether this boost might discourage some near retirement individuals from continuing to work. Rapid approval process. The speed of the program's approval has led some to question whether all necessary due diligence was performed. Some countries have taken different approaches. In the Netherlands, all residents receive a state pension at retirement age, with the amount dependent on how long they lived in the country. Australia has a means tested age pension supplemented by a mandatory employer-contributed superannuation system. Japan, facing one of the world's oldest populations, has been experimenting with various policies to support seniors and encourage continued workforce participation. Canada's approach with this significant boost appears to be charting new territory in terms of the scale and speed of implementation. It's likely that other countries will be watching closely to see how this bold initiative unfolds and whether it could serve as a model for their own aging populations. Looking ahead, Implementation and Preparation While the program has been approved, the exact rollout date hasn't been announced yet. The government has promised more details in the coming weeks, but it's crucial that eligible seniors stay informed and prepared. Here are some steps seniors, or those assisting them, can take to ensure they're ready. Update CRA information Ensure that all information with the CRA is current, including address, banking details for direct deposit, and any changes in financial situation. File taxes. If you haven't filed taxes recently, now is the time to get caught up. This ensures the CRA has the most up-to-date information about your financial situation. Set up My Account. If you haven't already set up a My Account with the CRA, 
This online portal is often the fastest way to access benefits and important information. Stay informed. Keep an eye on official government channels for announcements. The Canada.ca website and official social media accounts of the Prime Minister and relevant ministries are good places to start. Be wary of scams. Unfortunately, major announcements like this can attract scammers. Remember, legitimate government communications will never ask for personal information via email or social media. Seek help if needed. If you're not comfortable with technology, ask a trusted family member or friend for help. Community centers and libraries often have resources to assist seniors with government programs. Plan ahead. Start thinking about how you might use this additional income. Consider speaking with a financial advisor to make the most of this boost. Broader implications. This program represents more than just financial aid. It's a statement about the value we place on our seniors and their contributions to society. It acknowledges the challenges many face in retirement and aims to provide a more secure foundation for their later years. From a policy perspective, this program could set a new benchmark for senior support in developed nations. It may influence discussions about retirement security and social safety nets not just in Canada, but around the world. However, it's important to remember that financial support is just one piece of the puzzle when it comes to ensuring a high quality of life for seniors. Access to quality health care, social connections, and opportunities for engagement and purpose are equally important. As we celebrate this financial boost, let's not lose sight of these other crucial factors. For younger Canadians, this development serves as a reminder of the importance of planning for retirement. While government support is valuable, personal savings and investments remain crucial for long-term financial security. This might be a good time to review your retirement plans and consider how you can build a strong financial foundation for your own golden years. As we wrap up this deep dive into the newly announced $1,485 monthly CRA boost for seniors, let's recap the key points. Prime Minister Trudeau has approved a substantial $1,485 monthly boost for eligible seniors. The program was approved in a record 24 hours, highlighting its priority status. The boost will be administered through the CRA, potentially streamlining the process. While details are still emerging, the program aims to address rising living costs for seniors and provide a more secure retirement. The announcement has sparked both excitement and debate about its implementation and long-term implications. Staying informed and ensuring your CRA information is up-to-date is crucial for potential beneficiaries. This development marks a significant moment in Canadian social policy. It reflects a bold attempt to address the financial challenges faced by many seniors and could potentially reshape the landscape of retirement in Canada. As always, at Canada Benefits Hub, we're committed to keeping you informed about developments like these. We'll be closely following this story and providing updates as more information becomes available. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop. Before we sign off, I want to encourage all of you to share this information with the seniors in your life. Whether it's your parents, grandparents, neighbors, or friends, spread the word and help ensure that everyone who's eligible can benefit from this program. And hey, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from this information. Your support helps us reach more Canadians with vital information about benefits and support programs. Thank you for tuning in to this extended edition of Canada Benefits Hub. This is Daniel, reminding you to stay informed, stay prepared, and most importantly, stay hopeful. The future looks a little brighter for Canadian seniors today. Until next time, Take care and keep watching for more updates on Canadian benefits and support programs.